Uncle John. As soon as you start listening to the, the forbidden stories, uh, which are carried at the folkloric layer all around the world. So, I mean, if you want to know about paleo contact, don't go to the mainstream media of any country. Don't go to the Department of Education. Don't ask for government booklets. Listen to the folklore. Listen to the local knowledge. And indigenous culture will tell you about paleo contact. And by the time you spend any time with traditional teachers, with shamanic teachers, you'll come away believing that we live in a soup of company, that there are all kinds of beings in this cosmos. There are beings like us, flesh and bones, some of whom look very much like us, some of us who are like us but taller, some who are a bit more reptilian, and other beings that may be interdimensional, that can manifest in a way that's visible to us, but they're not three-dimensional in the same way that we are. And then there are energy-based beings that the early Christians talked about, the archons that are parasitic type entities that always keep company with biological life because they parasite off the emotional life of those beings. And then we have other beings that we're not quite sure what they are. And you will hear this sort of agnosticism in 1 John 4 that talks about contact experiences and in shamanic story around the world. And you mentioned shadow people. This is my most recent uh, video on the Paul Wallace channel. And I've been blown away. I think I've had about 1,500 stories of contact with shadow people shared in response to that video. And we can see that it's a spectrum of experiences, that there may be different kinds of entity that manifest as these beings that all you can see is the shape of a person in pitch black. And sometimes they'll look like they're wearing a hood. Sometimes they'll look like they're wearing a top hat. Sometimes um, a fedora hat. But you can't see any detail. And people's experiences range from terrifying to actually feeling safe around them. And I think there are different kinds of being that manifest in our perceptual field in that kind of way. If you have a cat or a dog, you'll probably be aware that there are entities moving around that you can't see. And as long as your cat or dog isn't worried, I wouldn't worry about it. But occasionally your dog will start barking at that thing that's moving through your room and your cat will flare up and puff up its tail. So pet owners know about this stuff. But I think, again, it's a spectrum of entities, some nice, some not so nice, some indifferent. But as I say, once you're listening to the folkloric layer, you certainly don't believe that we're alone in this cosmos.